we want to wait for people or no i think we'll start can't we yeah let's do it hello people that aren't here yet but will be here hopefully soon um my name is lucy um this is greg you need we... to make sure that you're watching the levels on the computer yeah you're not watching talking it. too loud because uh, you're sat too close to the mic that's better Okay, I'll speak this <laughs> It's all quietly. new to us. It's all oh, we new. got we got a couple of people. Yeah, this is um this is a start. Hello, I'm I'm just sat the other side of the <laughs> microphone over here. Um, so for those that are listening on the podcast, um, you won't be able to see us, but for those people, we're also streaming live on TikTok and Facebook. Yeah. Um, so you can actually watch us embarrass ourselves live. Which is um, always good fun. Yeah, which is always good fun, yeah. So <laughs> you can follow us on those channels. But um, yeah, so this is uh, the Zombie Infection podcast. Well, I say Zombie Infection podcast, but it's actually just going to be me and you, isn't it? Yeah, we just thought we'd stream it on our Zombie Infection channel to begin with because we're going to be speaking about the business today and uh, going into a little bit of details about what Well, a little is... bit about the business. Yeah, what is and Zombie Infection. Stuff, yeah. yeah, exactly. Cool. So I think the podcast is about you and I just kind of offloading a lot of stuff, really. Yeah. <laughs> the business is our lonely. life. Yeah, and the business is our the life. The business is lonely. Um, so if you have any questions, then feel free to chip in, fire them over to us in a DM or on the, any of the live feeds. Um, and then this full uh, podcast, it's only going to be 30 minutes long, will go up on our blog, which is on our website, www zombieinfection.co.uk do people do the w's anymore <laughs> zombieinfection.co.uk zombie yeah um and yeah. it's just gonna be lucy and i basically just bickering yeah so shall we just tell everyone who we are in terms of the business and what we do yeah you first okay okay um so i'm lucy um i am the uk's event manager for zombie infection um and i also do the bookings for zombie infection i've been with the business for six years started off as a zombie worked my way up as one of the lead actors playing our pt protagonist lead roles so i lead uh customers around a two 75 minute or two hour storyline uh zombie experience um playing multiple roles so that's what i do greg <laughs> And I own the business. And Greg owns the business. Um, so I started at a, a zombie experience in a shopping mall in Reading, where we're both from. Um, and I started off as a customer, and that's over 10 years ago now. So um, I saw a retweet from Simon Pegg that there was a zombie experience that you could do in an abandoned shopping mall. And I was like, yep, I'm in. Yeah, definitely. I'm all over that. Although I wasn't a massive zombie fan, um, I still uh, liked games, you know, I was a massive Resident Evil player, massive Silent Hill sort of horror, um, survival horror type gaming. Yeah. And I thought this is just the epitome of like being able to fulfill that fantasy, basically. Um, and so I went along, it was £140 per person back then. I went along with the, me and a few of my friends. There were six of us, actually. I actually went along dressed in a star's outfit with a beret. Love that. That I'd sewn on, the patch. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, turned up and they probably thought who is this guy yeah and uh and yeah and then the rest is history, the rest it, really? is history i'm sure yeah. over the this series this podcast series that you'll you'll hear about stories about how um you know that shopping mall and and what went on there yeah it's great experience but yeah they're, they're two hour experiences that place and many of the people that are following us either on social or hopefully listening to this podcast may have done one of our experiences and, and they'll know exactly what it is but for those of you that don't it's a yeah, essentially a two-hour theatre production in some type of atmospheric building. So we have factories, courthouses, prisons, forests, um, all of those kinds of things, and we'll put you through like a two-hour film essentially, where you guys are the characters. Yeah. But the point of this podcast is really for Lucy and I to talk about some of the stories that we've had over the years. You can imagine that working in like abandoned buildings and the amount of people and characters. I mean, because to do what we do. You've got to be a, you know, a bit weird, haven't you? A bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, it's not your normal nine to five. It's not it? your normal nine to five. Um, it, I mean, to I chase don't... people around covered in blood. It's not about it's being not weird. Normal, I think it? it's like if you have a lover. I mean, we both love TV and film, and and we're not even huge zombie fans, but we love action. And like you said, you grew up playing video games and that kind of stuff. So to get the opportunity to run around, you know, um, shooting fake guns and and 
killing yeah, zombies that's the fun bit, every weekend. Running around covered in blood is weird. Yeah. Chasing the general public. Yeah, and getting hit in the ground <laughs> and like, you know, in the <laughs> rain the and like, no, like hit in the ground from, you know, in the rain and that stuff. Like you've got to love what you do to be able to do it. And, um, you know, a lot of our guys do and some people haven't and left in the past. And that's because... It's not a job for everybody, It's not a job it? for everybody. No, it's tough, but some of the, like I said, I mean, some of the stories that we've got. Yeah. You know... But we're not just going to tell stories, are we? So the what, other point to this uh, podcast, we're going to be... Stop fidgeting, Luce. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I always fidget. Um, Candy says, bizarre covers it, really. Yeah, exactly. Bizarre, yeah, that's yeah. the same. I'm sure if you looked up the thesaurus for bizarre, weird is in there as well. So what else um, are we going to talk about in this podcast? Yeah, I, it's also an industry podcast. So obviously we have a real good insight into like things like uh, recruitment at a certain level because... <laughs> We have to recruit daily. I mean, yeah. you know, we have 50, 60 staff dotted across the country and those staff don't work a full working week with us. You know, it's very shift based. So probably once or twice a month we'll see them. Managing staff across such a large distance is incredibly it's difficult. Hard. Yeah. You know, we don't have an office. We don't have a single meeting space. It's very difficult to manage um, a, a roster of staff, keeping them happy, you know, keeping an you know, eye on everything. So that's that's one of the challenges. So, yeah, the, the this is going to cover a lot of, you know, industry topics for us to chat about. Mm. But, um, yeah, we want to talk a little bit about pop culture as well, don't we? And, you know, yeah. where's that going and review a few things. So if you've got anything you'd like us to review, um, I actually wanted to chat about this video that I've just seen on TikTok. Which is quite a good topic, actually. I'll probably cut it into the to any of the video or the the feeds that we've got. But it's a video of this guy, and it's clearly a Halloween thing where there's some people in in a, inside, and this guy runs up outside to the window as if he's being chased and he's covered in blood and whatever. And he runs up to the window and he's he's sm- slamming on the window like mm-hmm. that, and he puts his hand through through the window. Ouchie! And obviously, he's just acting. Yeah. But, like. How many times yeah. have we told staff? I have a scar. There you go. You can't see it. It's really small. But I have a little scar from putting my hand... Actually, the window is already broken. But me putting my hand on smashed glass in the shopping mall and cutting my finger open. So, it happens. Yeah, but I mean, like, we've had, like, panes of glass go because we, you know, we were working really recently with a with a manor house. And obviously we were like, please don't... Yeah, yeah. Please. Palm your hands... Yes through the windows yeah um and clearly this scenario this you know actually happened yeah he put his hand through <laughs> well the funny bit is he then he just runs off <laughs> yeah. he carried on though to be fair to him um but yeah you know we in many of our scenarios you know we're, we're working we work more now with commercial buildings than we do with abandoned buildings so you, you can get away with it a little bit in abandoned buildings but yeah commercial buildings yeah you can't like so to train a scare actor like to to go up and not you don't have to actually smash no. windows in to be scary. No, but we'll um we'll cover a little bit more about scare actors as well and what they should be the, the do's and don'ts, I guess, or how far you can go, what's right, you know. Um, and we're going to be speaking about that to do with the industry as a whole, aren't we? So Halloween is just just passed, and um, you know, ironically, it's not um, a particularly busy time for us. I think there's just more no. choice. Yeah, there's more choice of things to do, but we're actually one of the only scare attractions that run all year round. Um. So for us, it's not really a necessity as it is to other businesses. But um, yeah, what did we do this Halloween? Don't fidget in your feet on the floor. I can't help it. Because <laughs> the mic. So we've I got this new setup. It. We've got this new setup at home. Like I'm we've a got fidget. A mic and everything. And this is actually the second one that we've recorded this podcast. Because <laughs> we, we did it the first time. And then all for the 90% of it, it's just Lucy's feet. Just fidgeting. <laughs> I can't help it. Um... So what did we do for Halloween? For Halloween, we went to Mary Shelley's House of Frankenstein. In Bath. In Bath. Soon to be. In Bath. What do you mean soon to be? Well, we had a little bit of insight. We probably can't. It's an exclusive. Oh, Uh, I don't know what he's talking about. (laughs) But yeah, if anyone has been to uh, Bath, definitely check it out. Um, They did a walkthrough. um, So what is the house? Because you work there, right? I work there. So what is the house normally? It's a museum, it covers five floors, it's a self-guided tour, there's lots to see, lots to read, about Mary Shelley and her life, 
um, her inspiration behind writing the book, how Frankenstein's moved into pop culture. And then we have a very... Is this your, your opening blurb to people? Kind of. In? And then we have a very spooky basement, which is a bit more theatrical and horror related, which is... Um, Obviously, there's not things to read down there. It's terrifying. Um, so that's good. But then for Halloween, they just kind of um, turned off all the lights and turned it into a scary attraction and stuck loads of scary actors inside that were, um, yeah, super, super cool with lots of cool costumes. Um, yeah, it was cool costumes, wasn't it? Yeah. I think it was a little bit dark in some places, but I get yeah. it because I think to be in order to make it scary when it's yeah. quite a clinical museum in the day. Like, yeah, well, yeah. some rooms are. Some rooms, they're, they're spooky and atmospheric. Like, I think that's why the basement's put in. But some of the rooms, they, they've got reading boards on. So yeah, you can't cover those yeah, stuff. Yeah, stuff. But, um, yeah, it was good. It was good fun. Um, we went with a couple of our um, employees, Sam and her daughter, bless her. She was she terrified. Was <laughs> she was terrified, yeah, absolutely. She was screaming the place down within um, the first five minutes. Yeah. yeah, but she had a good time, didn't she? she? It was good. They did a good job with the house. Yeah, talking of... Um, did you want to talk a little bit about pop culture? Or not? Oh, we're just off of that? <laughs> yeah. Off of that now. Well, we were talking on. about... Ha- well, what else would you want to say about <laughs> Halloween? Well, I think we will just talk about how the Halloween season in general, wasn't it? Because mm. last year we were doing Locked in a Box and Zombie Town and um, Turf Wars. Yeah. Yeah, and this year we, we, we managed to get some a bit of time off, didn't we? Yeah, we usually do kind of turn it into a little bit because we our events aren't like a scare maze. They're not story driven when we normally do our events. They um they are story driven. They're not just like a pop up scare maze, which a lot of the Halloween attractions are. Um, but for Halloween, we tend to kind of try and do a little bit more of that because we know it sells. So in the past, we've done a scare uh, maze um in our 18th century abandoned courthouse that we used to own up in West Brom. Um, so we did one there and then the following year which we had about five people turn up like you said before um, and then the following year we did was a... that the year was that when the fire brigade turned up that wasn't at Halloween that was in one of our events or was it actually an event it was in one of why, our events why did Nathan have his shirt off because Nathan just had his shirt off <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah so Nathan I think he was just getting changed out of his gear I don't know what was going on but Basically, the fire brigade turned up at our old courthouse. Um, I can't <laughs> remember too. why, because the we fire alarm didn't go off, did it? like a bucket Yeah, we had like force. all these guns, like fake guns, obviously. Um, and we were, but they look very, very real. And we were like wheeling them all in and then like four fire guys <laughs> just came in like, what is going on? Like, we were just kind of froze like, hello. Um, the bucket fire alarm didn't there. go off though, did it? Um, yeah, it did. Oh, did it? That's why they turned up. Because... Uh, are you sure it wasn't at Halloween? Because it wasn't I'm not... covered in blood. Yeah, but we didn't give them guns. They had the guns out. That was the point. Maybe, yeah. and we didn't give them guns for Halloween. Um, the fire alarm must have gone off because the smoke machine went off. Yeah. Oh. It's a silent alarm, isn't it? So it goes off and then it automatically alerts. Bane of our lives, so yeah. smoke machines in new venues. Trying mm. to make sure they don't go off. Um, yeah halloween so um yeah that was our first halloween was it but we got time off this year i think um last year um we did other we kind of greg personally wrote a couple of other um halloween experiences that was more story driven and i think it kind of gave you a little bit more into an insight that we are able to kind of I say we like we can branch out to do more immersive theatre, yeah. Um, rather than traditional zombie shooting stuff, um, I think that's something that we'll talk about at another point about yeah, I mean, where I, we want to go as a business. Yeah, I mean, I never, like I said, I didn't do the experience because I was a zombie fan. Yeah, I did it, and then I fell in love with it because it was immersive fantasy. It was immersive yeah. theatre. It was a way to break away, like from... reading a book or. Well, it was a, if you grew up with films and video games, it was a chance to be in those video mm. games, be in those films without having to be Tom Cruise. You know, <laughs> like it has everything that you'd expect from a from a film, like explosions, blood, gore, action, yeah, guns. Yeah, like yeah. it's 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 amazing. It's being in like a Hollywood blockbuster type scenario. So, yeah, I mean, it's but. In terms of the story writing, what we're talking about is we have a lot of repeat business or a lot of repeat customers. And we always, it's, maybe we can speak about that at some point, about the struggles of trying to come up with new storylines after doing it for so long or, 
you know, how you kind of work your brain around that. I mean, li- we literally spoke today, didn't we? Because we've got a new event coming up at um, the called the Boathouse and it's at the um, National Waterways Museum up in mm. Liverpool. And um, we were saying like it would be nice to put some new elements in because what we end up doing is we always end up taking things that have worked from previous events and just sort of tweaking them and reapplying them to these new events. So it's... yeah. It's, yeah, we're trying to come up with some new innovative ways to do types of things, which is not as easy as you think it would be. When you do something for so long and you know what works and what, you know, it's very, um, you know, we tr- we try and keep it fresh, don't we? We try and not, you know, make it predictable. Um, but it isn't it isn't easy. Um, and we've got actually we've got four new venues next year um, that we haven't written stories for yet. So we've got four new stories that we need to. <laughs> You hear a we, Greg does, but um, actually we might need to rethink of, you know, we want to try and all come up with some ideas maybe. Um, I think there are certain logistics when it comes to our events that uh, we do need to keep. Hmm. It's like the format and the way that we do things because we've honed it over a long period yeah. of time to be as good as what it is today to be able to run. But it's the more of the like the icing on top. Like, you know, we had an old scene in our in our courthouse where we got a a guest to dress up as um in infected clothing and walk through to get a set of keys to pretend to be a zombie and we use that in our other events in similar ways yeah so it's the same type of mechanic so it's more of those types of things that we actually need to come up with so like at the forest we get them to do the gauntlet run don't we where they have to zombie and pretend to be one of them you know, and then they run back, obviously. So it's this sort of a similar type mm. incarnation. And the best thing about that is that whoever they're with, their and friends Basin get Stoke. to watch them do it. Yeah, at Basingstoke. Yeah, when they're in the, when they're in the hall and they have oh, to zombie right, free yeah. to get to the door. So it, you know, it tends to be like the stuff works, but we need more, st- we need to think of more stuff. Like more that, things that they can do to watch their friends, but not Maybe we just need to that. watch more, more zombie related stuff to get an idea of what we could do, maybe. Yeah. Which leads on to zombie-related stuff in pop culture. <laughs> We're going to speak about a bit about pop culture, aren't we? Yeah, I think we want to just like I think talk about some stuff that we're all familiar with that we're all watching at the moment. Um, yeah. Yeah, we're not watching. The reason why we pause then is because we're not actually watching anything zombie related at the moment. Um, we haven't. We need to well, watch The Walking we, Dead. Just to be zombie watch. We watched the first episode of The Watcher, didn't we? Yeah, the scary. Yeah, The yeah. Watcher. Um, we need to finish thriller. The Watching. They Dead. called it a thriller. The Watching Dead. The Walking Dead. They called it a thriller, didn't they? But it seemed like more. It had more of a horror. Yeah, vibe, maybe we should it? watch that later. Um, but yeah, it's we. I mean, we watch a lot of stuff like that to try and get inspiration, don't we? I mean, a lot of the stuff inspirations have has come from pop culture references and and that kind of things i mean a lot of your stuff has come from resident evil the game not the tv series like the puzzles and that kind of elements of that or you know yeah uh, the issue we have with our events is we don't actually own any of the venues so we just hire the venue so it's very difficult for us to integrate like keys and doors and you know shotguns and yeah shotguns hanging off walls and things like Mm. that unlock other things yeah which is all stuff that I would love to do, but um, yeah, very difficult to do. Um, maybe that's where the escape room culture has come from, you know, video games of that ilk, where you have to puzzle solve, and yeah. take things off walls and do weights and things. Yeah, definitely. Um, I don't know what it is about the human race that um, that, that do uh, do that. We've just had uh, Eddie say, we enjoyed our time when we did the castle back in 2019. Hopefully we'll be back Wellington Hall? to do the jungle castle where are you in the world <laughs> i wish i had a castle um, in 2019 we had a uh, big manor ha- mansion manor house type thing called wallerton hall so is that what was you're that 2019 yes because it was before covid 2019 right yeah so was that where you did eddie yeah. um, jungle is forest jungle i presume is yeah. the forest um yeah that was a great venue it's actually one of our most popular venues um because it's slightly different because you're outside and you know you know weather dependent i guess it's that's, yeah, that's the, the one, one. Willerton Hall, yeah. Yeah, Willerton yeah we Hall missed that. Good. That was a good um good location. It was very um very story driven and and you know we, we definitely, you know, we've had venues in the past that have less personality because they're more of just like a 
what is it like we have a sports hall for a sports hall a sports center that we use for Basingstoke and obviously that's got less personality compared to somewhere like Willerton Hall which was epic lucky we're getting rid of it isn't it what we just totally slagged it off <laughs> no no it's, it's a great venue for other reasons Basingstoke's awesome and the story's great it's just it has less as a venue it has less personality compared to you know a massive whenever we say the forest to anybody everyone's like ooh, ooh. In the, oh, dark, in the dark in the forest, forest. the forest is actually one of our hardest events to run it's it's a 50 acre forest yeah um it's the it's, terrain is hard to navigate hard. so i mean i think at the it, a double weekender at the courthouse we used to do 14 miles i think something like that it was 14 miles and i think it was about four and a half five thousand calories a day per day i think it was that you burnt so i think when you and the courthouse must have only been i don't know 500 Foot. But there were stairs there. Obviously, the forest doesn't have any stairs, but, but it's, long, it's isn't it? big. It's, big, it's isn't it? big. You say it hasn't got any stairs, but it's hilly. Yeah. Like you got. To, Come on, we're not, trying to sell it flat, to Eddie. It? <laughs> oh, the, it, I'm not talking about it from an event point of view. Yeah. I'm talking about it from a production. From point us. Of view. From from a yeah, crew. Yeah, from us. Crew it's point a, it's a great event for yeah. customers, but for us trying to run it, it's incredibly tricky. I was nearly kicked out in the beginning for laughing too much, but enjoyed our time. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's okay, Eddie. It's okay <laughs> to laugh. You know, I, we know you're nervous. We know, we know you're scared. You get a lot of nervous laughter. That's fine. Um, yeah, laugh, laughter's tricky. I mean, again, like, the point of these podcasts is that we're going to talk about a lot of these aspects. These, I think what we'll do is we'll, de- we'll dedicate a podcast to just one topic I agree. so this is our intro podcast so we're just kind of blabbering on about a lot of things that we want to talk about but i think it's important that we go into more detail about things like the type of customers that we get and the, and those difficulties that we face you know yeah we could easily talk for 20 25 minutes about just laughing customers yeah you know and Don't how and how as a <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah Don't worry, yeah. we're booked into the forest next year in <laughs> In, instead of a tough mother instead of, oh you know, yeah this is, it'll be tough yeah, yeah. good um, um but yeah i yeah, think the, pod, the point of the podcast is that we want to identify these subjects and really kind of dissect them yeah and pr- and talk about them so that they might prove to be useful to those that are either running similar events or you know what in any walks of life some of the things that we'll talk about in this podcast you could probably apply You know, like reading a situation, you know, reading a situation, using improvisational skills to understand. I need to write down so much because you're you're saying loads of stuff that I'm like, we need to speak about. I think definitely how it builds you, your confidence. I mean, I can take that personally as an example and talk about, you know, how it it changes, it almost changes you as a person of working or how the job has, you know, impacted my life and made me confident or how to deal with people or customers um just because you're used to you know dealing with yeah i mean tia one of our um one of our workshop um and senior staff members she's just about to become a teacher yeah and we've you know, loads she's of trying to manage that. you know she's managing a, a group of 20 to 30 students yeah. you know so i think it's just some of the skills in managing 20 to 30 staff mm-hmm. or people on a stag do yeah or hen do yeah or give yeah. her the good good skills and good understanding of how to manage a group of that size, whatever their age, you know? Yeah. So I think it does. There's definitely. A lot of people, I mean, we've got a lot of people now that have gone on to theatre, so. Oh, yeah, you know, directors. Charlie and yeah. Katie and, and people like that have gone on to do proper theatre and that was just roles. massively boost their confidence because when we first met them, you know, they were little m- mice. A little mice. <laughs> <laughs> and now they're like, own it. Cool. <laughs> now they own it owning it like they're oh, no, owning they're it owning do you know what i mean it. like they've yeah. grown you know yeah um, so um yeah but if you've got any questions or anything or any topics who's even if you'd like to co-host one of these podcasts you know definitely get in touch with us at info at zombieinfection.co.uk or you can contact us through any of our social platforms as i said we are live streaming this on our facebook page uh we're going to going to we're going to <laughs> we're going to stream this on our twitch channel as well as tiktok um what? next week um so yeah. if you want to jump on any of those with regards Summer. to when we're going to do it i think because we of our schedules s- we just need to i know we can we can pl- try and plan it but i think we just we're probably just going yeah, but then we're not, it, aren't we no because some people do want to start to watch it regularly and then they can't i suppose it'll be up there won't it 
Yeah, I think we'll, it, yeah. The, the podcast will always be on our blog, so you can always watch the recording back or listen to it. You know, I just said to Lisa, I didn't know whether this was going to be a podcast for like, hi, I'm Greg. Welcome to the evening session. No. Greg. We're not like bed. that. We're Greg before bed. <laughs> You love a bit, Greg. Oh God, <laughs> stop that! Um, but we're we're not those kind of people, anyway, are we? We we're, we're just we we're just chat about uh, random crap. Yeah. But I think that we need to have a you know we need to we'll go off on tangents if we. If no, we, we did we did have a plan. We but did I think have this a plan. is the first podcast. So I, yeah. I think it's the topic that we're going to chat about. I don't think we want it to be too formal. Like no, this podcast no, 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 is not no, no, about no. us promoting the business or no, like doing. Just it's just about, about us about talking about yeah. Um. Talking about our experiences and stuff, yeah. <laughs> I spoke Sorry, over you. I got it. Yeah, I know. Sorry, I keep doing it again. <laughs> um, right, do we want to finish? Yeah, on... so we've got last five minutes. So I think. Um, talk about any of these points? No, I think like let's just just round it off with, um, you know, like I said, the channels that you can follow us on, um, and if you've got any questions, then definitely promote. get definitely get in touch. Um, so yeah, once a week. It's going to be called um, Day and then whatever day podcast it is, which will be the number. So this is day one. Day one, yeah. Next one will be day two. Yeah, and so on. And so on. Um, and it's primarily going to feature Lucy and I, um, Greg, um, and uh, yeah, just chatting about our industry and what, what what we've got up to that week. Yeah, we might have an occasional guests on the people that have worked for us in the past or people that work for us now. Um, you know, we might try and get other people in the industry to... Absolutely, yeah. I mean, I think it, primarily it should just be about us and our, and our yeah own. that's about what we do but um yeah uh, so if you've got anything then definitely get in touch but um yeah thanks for listening um hopefully we're going to see you soon at one of our experiences um and uh, yeah like i said if you have any questions or anything then do get in touch with us it's always nice to hear from our fans and listeners so, awesome we'll chat to you soon cool see you next week thanks guys <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> It's always funny. Isn't it? <laughs> Don't post it with that as the final image. Yeah.